So we have one more thing to talk about here in Article 410, Luminaires, Lamp Holders and Lamps, and that's a new Part 17 of the article that they created. So let's take a look and see what it says. All right, so Article 410, Part 17, this covers sections 410.190 through 197. A new Part 17 was added to address germicidal irradiation luminaires. Uh, nearly all of the requirements already exist in other code rules, so really, did they add this? Yes. Uh, most of it, though, could probably be deleted and the code would be the same. So a lot of repetition in Article 410. They, they tend to do that, though. They'll add a general rule in Article 410, 410.6. It says all luminaires have to be listed. And then they'll tell you that 10 different times in the rest of Article 410, and, and that's what they did here. So most of this stuff was already in the code, but... Uh, it is a new concept, a new type of luminaire, so let's take a look and see what the requirements are. 410.190 is general, and I'm not even kidding, it doesn't have any words. <laughs> if you open your code book to 410.190, there are literally no words in that section. It just says general. 410.191, listing, says, well, German, germicidal irradiation luminaires have to be listed. Fine, they already do. That's in 410.6. All luminaires already have to be listed. So forget 410.190 and 191. 410.193, I think it basically just says to follow installation instructions. Right, 110.3b tells us that. If you have a listed product, you have to follow the instructions. So, so far, 190, 191, 193, none of that needs to even be in the code. 195 actually has some language that is important, although again, for the most part, it just says to follow instructions. So with germicidal irradiation luminaires, uh, what we're talking about is like UV lighting, luminaires that are designed to kill germs, you know, and obviously with uh, with COVID, we're, we're going to see more of these luminaires installed. You can get them for residential, you can get them for commercial, uh, but there are some really important instructions that we need to follow. So if the luminaire says, listen, don't use this in occupiable space, well, then we would better not be using it in occupiable space. If this luminaire is intended to only be used when the building is not occupied, well, then we need to be following those instructions. If the luminaire says this is not for residential, well then don't put it in a house. So it is important to follow the instructions. I, I don't want to just gloss over it and say, well, you always have to follow instructions. Yeah, you do. You always have to follow instructions. But uh, following instructions is really important, especially when it comes to these luminaires. 410.197, germicidal irradiation systems, uh, kind of talks about what we just talked about. So. This is the germicidal irradiation luminaire that I actually have installed in my house. Um, this thing goes right into your furnace, into the, into the uh, plenum. So the way they install it is they take like a, a three inch hole saw and they cut it into the, into the ductwork and then they insert it right into the duct. And then of course it's wired externally and you turn it on and you, you leave it on and you, you don't worry about it. So then there's, uh, there's infrared lighting inside, or, or I'm sorry, uh, ultraviolet lighting inside of your air distribution system and it's killing the germs inside of it. So kind of a cool setup. So luminaires, like we already said, luminaires that emit germicidal radiation must be listed and be identified for germicidal irradiation. So. There you go. That is your new part 17 of Article 410, germicidal radiation luminaires. I do think that we'll probably be seeing more of more and more of these things installed. Probably see the price go down a bit. Um, this thing here, I, I'm, I got to be honest, man. I'm I'm a total sucker. I'm a mark. Um, <laughs> I, when when people come to like service my furnace or whatever. Oh man, if, if they try to sell me something, I just I just buy it hook, line, and sinker. I, I'm terrible that way. So if it's like a new gadget kind of thing, I, I buy it. So with this, uh, I totally bought it. Uh, I think it was like five or six hundred bucks. I really don't remember. But um, anyway, they, they got me. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's killing everything inside of my furnace. Uh, you know, people have asked me like, well, does it work? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sick, I don't think. So there you go. Anyway, there you have it. New part 17, germicidal irradiation luminaires.